In this video, I'll be showing you how to use AirDrop and explaining what it is. With AirDrop, you can wisely send your photos, videos, website, location, and much more. You can send all of this to any nearby Apple device except for Apple Watch. But it has to be above a certain software version. For iPhone, it has to be above iOS 7, then for iPad, iPad OS 13 and above. Then for Mac, it has to be above Mac OS X and above. Here I have my iPhone with a photo that I want to transfer using AirDrop to my iPad. To do this, you want to open up the control center with a phone with a home button, you want to swipe up from the bottom, like this. If you don't have a phone with a home button, you're going to swipe down from the top left corner to open up your control center. So then you want to enable your Wi-Fi. If you don't have access to Wi-Fi, you can turn on mobile data and you want to enable Bluetooth. And then you want to open this area up here, what you've got to do is hold down in the middle under open up, then go on option here for airdrop and you want to tap it here. Then you've got contacts only where they can only send photos, videos and stuff like that. Or if you hit the out for everyone, anyone in the public can send you any photo, website, video, anything like that to you. So what I'd recommend using is contacts only if the person you're transferring data to is in your contacts. That's the one I'd recommend using. But if they're not, you can use everyone. So once you've selected that, I'm gonna come out of here. I wanna tap this share button here. Open that up and it'll bring you to this page here. Then you've got this airdrop symbol here that you want to tap. If it comes up here, say no people are found, check your other device that you're sending it to if they've got AirDrop enabled. So I'm going to come to my iPads, open up the control center by dragging it down from the top right corner. And then I want to enable my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And now I've got my AirDrop symbol here. I'm going to tap that. Then I'm going to allow it for everyone or contacts only if the person transferring to me is in their contacts. Then this here is my iPad, the one that I want to send it to. So all we've got to do is tap this here and it'll start saying waiting, then sending, then it'll say it's sent. And then I've got this photo on my iPad. This will be the same routine that you'll take for sending website links, look your location, and text for the person to copy and paste it into their notes or Word or anything like that. It's the same type of routine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and a subscribe. And if you've got any questions or video ideas, please let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them and make it happen.